Hi, this is Steven. In this video, I want to continue with the basics of Maya 2016. In this video, I want to talk about uh, creating new files, saving new files, uh, a little bit about the project folders that are set up on your system, how to create and set a new project, and even get into how you might uh, set up autosave. Uh, which is very helpful. So let's get started. First, to create a new file, when you open Maya, it typically opens in a new file. You can, of course, uh, create a new scene from the file menu. It'll ask you if you want to save what's previously there. When you create a new scene, it's not saved anywhere. If you're, you were to switch off the machine, whatever work here would be lost. So to save, you do File, Save Scene As that brings up your Maya browser. Now, if you just installed Maya, you're going to have a default folder that has several other folders. Now, uh, typically you want to save your scenes in the scenes folder. So even though there's lots of folders here, the most important one right now is your scenes folder. And uh, so you select the scenes folder and uh, give it a name, test, file, and you can save it in one or two formats. One is a Maya binary or a .mb file, uh, or a Maya ASCII, which is a .ma. If you think you might want to open this file in an earlier version in Maya, eventually you want to go with an MA. Uh, if not, MBs are fine. MBs don't really work well with previous versions, and that's particularly since uh, Maya 2014. Um, so you go ahead and save and now if you notice at the top you have a file path here and your scene has been saved uh, when you do it when you're working it's a good idea to save often uh, I think there's a shortcut here if you just want to save the scene also control s uh, will, will save your scene uh, if you want to set up auto save which is not a bad idea because I know sometimes I get really into my work and it'll, I'll realize 45 minutes has gone by and I have not saved. Uh, so to do that you go into your Maya preferences and you come down in your settings about a uh, third of the way down to your files and projects and you'll see uh, you can set your default project directory if you didn't uh, hear but there's a section called autosave and you can enable that and you can say just save it in my project directory or you can hey t give me an exact folder where you want me to save these uh, these scene files and also uh, how often do you want these to be saved so let's set up I'm gonna set one up in my default here and uh, I'm going to right click here and give myself a new folder and I'm just going to say auto save uh, there may already be oh there already is one I'm sorry didn't see that okay it's gonna make me put something here well I'll have to delete that later okay. alright so I'm gonna select the auto save within the default and uh, open that and just save. Hey, every uh, 15 minutes, I want you to to put a put a f whatever file I'm working on. And I think uh, you can limit your auto saves. Uh, so if not, you might have a thousand files in there eventually. Say, so, hey, just just keep the last 10 or the last 15 files. That'll save space. Uh, you can. Uh, of course prompt before you save and you're like no I just saved don't worry about it or you can have it do it automatically uh, if this is not checked it would automatically do it so very helpful not a bad idea as you can see I did not have it set up um, but uh, I'll actually leave that I think it's a good idea <laughs> uh, and I may prompt before you save okay so so we have auto save set up we've talked about saving a file as and uh, we've talked about the project directories um, this is your project uh, which the project is a system of lots of folders it has your scene folder where you save your dot MAs and MBs it has your 
images folder where you may uh, save image sequences that you've rendered out. There's a movies folder where you might save uh, clips that you can render out. There's the autosave. There's the sound. Uh, there's a script for mail scripts. The, mo the ones I use most often are your source images when I'm creating textures. Uh, it will look here first. If my project's set to the default project and when I click on the folder to look for images, it's going to look in this folder. Um, so I can create a new project here. I'll just call this new project 3. And it's going to create that project with all the folders. I'm going to hit accept. And then when I go to file save uh, scene as, I need to select my project 3 scenes folder. And uh, I'm going to save it as. And you can also go in your file and set your project to my new project 3. And that way when I'm looking for images it's automatically going to look in the images folder of this project or when I save the file from now on it's all automatically going to go to the scenes folder of project 3 as just a way to help you organize so that's it um, uh, very simple but uh, very important to kind of understand the structure how things save how the folders are set up and I hope this tutorial helps thanks for watching